All right, everyone. Over here, recording a little clip. What I'm doing this is for my ambience video that I'm working on, and I read that YouTube needs proof Whatever you're recording for an ambience video, you need proof that you did it, that you didn't took this clip from someone else. So here's my proof, YouTube, doing it right here. But right now, heading to the shop, and I want to talk about all the Plastisol ink that you have left over, you know, for a long time. Do not throw them away. We're going to talk about what to do with all this ink, where you could convert it into a black grate for um, half tones and shadows and the light colors to mix it up an underbase. We're going to talk about that. So right now, let's into the shop. All right. Got this box from Screen Print Direct. It's a little wet here. It's been raining. But you got to see the colors that they put um, coming out with. Unbelievable, man. Check them out. The first one is called Tiki Brown. Real nice. This one, the Blue Lagoon. Not bad. Beautiful color. Look at that color. Real nice. The other one, Fiesta Orange. Fiesta Orange. Look at this. Nice, beautiful color. The other one, Marigold. And the other one, the Flower Power Pink. Look at that. Flower Power Pink, another beautiful color. And finally, my favorite right here, this Parakeet Green. Oh, all rapid cure, real nice. Oh man, thank you Screen Print Direct. Awesome colors, go check them out, man. I'm gonna be looking at these Blue Lagoon, this Parakeet Green, love the orange, these colors are real nice, especially when you're starting your own brand. A lot of clients, when they want their own thing, they already got the colors, but this is perfect when you're doing your own clothing line and you're doing designs and you want these colors to be different than a lot of other um, prints out there. Perfect for that. This is the one I'm gonna start because I'm starting my Taino clothing line soon. And these are the colors I've been looking for, man. So, Screen Print Direct, good looking out. Now, look at all these things that we got here. I know you screen printers, uh, have the same thing, your screen rack looks the same way. It has gallons on the top, some cords you still have not used, and then a lot of the cords that you mix yourself, you know, half a cord or a cord, you mix ink, they've been sitting there for a long, long time. Some of them have been sitting there for maybe a year or two or even longer, but does not mean that you gotta throw these inks away. They still good, even they, they look like they messed up when all the oil is on the top and just, you know, it's very dry. The whole plastic um, of, the, of that ink is hard, but all the oil, don't worry about it. Once we start mixing it and mix it up real good, it'll activate again, it'll, it still works. But you should not throw none of these inks away. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get a gallon, a, 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 a gallon of a bucket like these over here when they come, but empty ones. I'm gonna get two of them because I wanna do one for the black that we're gonna use for like half tones and um, shadows, which is better than using a black ink. Believe me, much, much better. And then use the light colors, another bucket for the light colors we're gonna mix, and we're gonna convert it into a gray. So we could use that gray as an underbase, as a dye blocker, and you're gonna have a gallon of those two, which they, you're, now you're gonna see how you're gonna be using them and you don't have to throw this away or leave them there sitting down looking. Look, that's horrible. Cause I wanna clean up my shelf. I got so much ink I wanna get rid of and just get it all done. Cause I wanna start getting all inks more organized and much better quality of inks I'm planning to get. But that's what we're gonna do right now. So let me go get the two buckets. So then I can show you the process of separating what colors to separate for the black and what colors to separate for the gray. So let's do this. All right, this is a day later because when I went to get the buckets, um, somebody asked for a rush order. So I did the rush order, I did the shirts, and then from there on, after those two hours that I was printing, I went and got a haircut, then went home, got ready to go and 
with my son to go watch the Mets at City Field. I had a blast, man. Check it out. I had a great time with my kids, man. So right now, I already just, you know, organized all the ink, you see? Real nice, all organized. And I placed all the light ink on one side, as you see, and then the dark ink on, one, on the other side. And we're gonna mix them, and we're gonna get these black, you know, that is for, like I said, half tones and shadows, and that light for the nice gray on the base, especially for these darker colors like red, um, green, forest green, purple. That gray is better than putting it on white. On white, it brights up, it takes the color a little brighter. So you don't want that. So right now, let's head to the table. So what I'm gonna start doing now, I'm gonna start piling up in this bucket. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with like the, these dark blue, just pile it up in there. These dark blues, good to, Start working, then I'm gonna grab the the greens. Okay, I took it out of the bucket, got it into a nice quart here, mixing it very, very well. And you can see because I had a more like the burgundy-ish. It has a little, you can see a little, like a purplish, but it's not. You see that? Look at that. Nice. Once you print on this, it's gonna be black. It's gonna look black, but not that black, but perfect, like I said, for half tones and shadows and all that, but you have a whole quart of ink that now you're gonna be using more often than these inks that were sitting down there. Now I'm gonna do the light colors and you're gonna see that gray, how it comes out. So I'm gonna start, you see how hard it is? Look at that. I'm gonna start with the beige, olive, nice. That's it, start mixing. So all I wanna do is, I still got about maybe a little half a quart of white. I'm gonna mix it, separate it on both and mix it. Get it a little lighter and then maybe add a little more black but to get into that almost gray. And now look, I have the whole black that came out real nice. This one came out real nice. This one I work with it a little more, just finish getting rid of these white inks and throw a little bit of black, mix it up real nice, get it into that almost gray look. And now you have these ink that was sitting there doing nothing. Now you have two quarts of these inks that you could use. Black for half tones and shadows and for the underbase. When you're using black shirts with a, with a dark ink like that red, uh, the green, the navy blue or something like that, that underbase gray will come out real good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God take you on the right. Peace out. Look at that. Nice gray and that black, real nice. That gray, perfect for underbase and dye blocker right there. All right.